All right, what's up guys? We're here on Black Ops Cold War. There was just an update. We just did a video on the Rambo bundle. So if you wanna see that, a link will be up here. But this is the second part of the 80s Action Heroes update with the John McClane operator from Die Hard. As you can see, we have him right here toting the mp5 scouting around out here in the wilderness like he's still back in the building but this is the die hard operator bundle it's only out for a limited time obviously we have the john mcclain operator but we also have three weapons in here so this is the farah in the bundle it has orange tracers and shatter blast dismemberment and if you use this in zombies it will come with shatter blast on it like the ammo mod without having to pack a punch it so it's pretty cool the farah has been a very good weapon weapon recently it's probably the best weapon in zombies and it's a very fast firing ar decent in warzone i think it might have gotten nerfed but a good choice for a weapon here and as you can see it has the mounted flashlight the 17.5 inch contour barrel mill stop reflex raider stock and taped mags now here is the mp5 called shattered plans also has the same effects as the fara we have a socom eliminator muzzle on it bruiser grip jungle style mag field tape and the collapse stock it's all bloody and beaten it looks pretty cool to be honest and we have the aug called the hostage situation same effects as every other weapon in this bundle we have the duster pad on it the 45 round speed mag serpent wrap task force barrel and the infantry compensator now the coolest part of this bundle is his finishing move it's the iconic scene from the movie and i'm just gonna let it play out that's sick. Pulls the taped gun off his back and just takes him out. Very nice. There's also a watch here, a detective badge, this radio emblem, and the calling card of him crawling through the vents. Also comes with a double weapon XP token. Really quick, here are the classes I have made for it. We have the Plaza Security Farah and the Shattered Plans MP5 here. I'm going to keep a stim shot on this class. I just switched out for a stun grenade. I think stim probably fits the character better because of how much damage he takes and keeps going. So that'll help keep us alive. Tomahawk because it's sick. I'll have a Tomahawk on any class. I don't care what character it is. The field mic, kind of to pay homage to the radio in the movie, but also will help us get more kills. And then Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Gung Ho. This is what the Fara blueprint looks like with the mastery camos on it. This is gold. Pretty decent. Kind of takes away from all the extra stuff put on the weapon. Diamond just basically looks like a diamond Fara. And this is dark matter. I might just keep this one plain, but this is what the zombies camos looks like on it. This is gold Viper. Still not a fan of gold Viper. Plague Diamond looks like a plague diamond farah and dark aether has really good coverage on this i think it looks great not really adding too much to what this weapon brings with the bundle but it still looks cool now this is what the mp5 looks like with the gold camo that is nice it still keeps all the aspects of it even the blood stains so they did very good on this diamond is still diamond but it does keep on all the tape and then that is dark matter i think we're gonna go with gold here just to keep the blood splatter this is what the zombies mastery camos look like on it gold viper still gross plague diamond and dark aether so it looks like gold will keep the effects on the weapon and this is the aug in the bundle this is what it looks like gold i think that that looks pretty nice this is without gold so it's just basically a default aug with all this extra stuff attached to it in the sticker diamond looks great it still keeps the patch over the diamond which is very nice and the radio on it and there is dark matter i think we'll do dark matter you know just to, just to get a little flex in there but this is my second Second class for the Die Hard bundle. I have the AUG in the 1911, the 1911 from the finishing move. I thought it fit. Since he has three weapons in this bundle and they're all primary weapons, we, we can only squeeze so many into one loadout. So the 1911, I think it fits. We do have an extra attachment slot, but I don't want to add a silencer or an optic or make them dual wield just because it doesn't really fit the character. But also switched out my stuns for a stem shot here. Double Tomahawk, Field mic again, Tack Mask, Scavenger, and Gung Ho. I switch between Tack Mask and and flak jacket just in case i'm getting stunned or naded a lot but we've been talking a lot let's play some die hard point a new mode here for this new event so let's go try it out we need to capture the hard point to score points and i did not get to read the rest of it but we are john mcclain here is what the fire looks like in game this is what the mp5 looks like pretty nifty let's get some kills with it oh it's like cranked also, I've been seeing videos fly around on Twitter. Uh, the update only came out an hour ago, but it seems like they've added a new kill streak in the Cold War. So this is the first time a nuke has ever been in a Treyarch title. So that is pretty cool. Maybe we can get one here. I doubt it, but maybe someone else will, will get one on us and we'll be able to see it. Uh-oh. I got 13 seconds to find somebody to kill. No, 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 no. Oh. 
let's let's see uh, what the mp5 can do we already got a few kills with it but those were on people that weren't really paying attention let's get these guys oh fully loaded oh ran out of ammo there let's check the voice quips for this character actually it does not look like i'm pulling my wheel that's unfortunate looks like that bug's still going around all right let's throw it on our field mic and if anyone comes into it they're dead like that guy there no this guy's going down eat that they hacked my field mic put it back all right time to test out the aug this is what the aug looks like i think this is probably the best looking weapon it's between this and the mp5 for me in this bundle and also the 1911 obviously that's not one in the bundle but i figured i'd show you i need to get an assassination though that's the big thing here i want to show off this finishing move there we go Okay, how can we get an assassination here? We need to go on like a full flank, I feel like. This guy here doesn't know we're here. No. Oh, I need to just wait around a corner or something and just catch somebody lacking. Like this guy's doing to me, but we still get the kill. This aug's kind of nice. Oh no. I have eight seconds. I need to kill somebody now. Oh, either way, I was dead there. Cranked is crazy. I need to be constantly getting kills. Now, I don't think, I don't think I can show off the dismemberment effect in this game mode because you will blow up upon death. But it works the same as any other dismemberment if you've seen it. I showed it off in the Rambo video. Okay, do these guys know I'm coming? Looks like it. Go get them, little RCXD. Get them. Oh no, it got blown up. Oh, get out of here. Oh, extending our time barely. I need an assassination. Maybe we can get on this guy. Nope, we gotta get that kill to stay alive. Somebody's over here. Oh, this guy for sure. No! This might be a hard mode to get an assassination on, but I will show it off. I'm switching out the stim for, for smoke grenades, and I'm gonna just hide in one and see if I can catch somebody lacking. Oh, here we go! Oh, don't shoot me! Bye, bitch! Oh, that looks sick with the explosive effect. Oh, and they added a new assassination icon. Before, it was just kind of a box with a slant in it. Now, it's actually a knife. Okay, so you can stay cranked by being in the hard point. I did not know that. Oh, melee them to death. Those explosions do do damage to you. Melee weapons are not the move in this mode. Okay, so capture hard points to score points. Chain kills will earn buffs. So we haven't seen all the buffs for this mode yet. So it looks like there's a speed increase, a, re a reload speed increase, maybe something with aiming. Maybe it's kind of like dead shot. You have a slide increase. And I don't know what that last one could be. We did get Nuketown in. We are John McClane. We might be getting a little frame droppy here, but it's fine. I I'm chill with it. Because cranked on Nuketown, you, you can't miss this. Look what these tracer rounds do to walls. Completely fucks them up. Okay, we can just stay on this hard point. They're gonna push us. So the hard points, actually, they're not the same. They're the same areas, but not the same order. How do I keep getting stuck? That's twice in a row. This is madness. Get off me. He's really trying to assassinate me there. Okay, we're kind of getting messed up here. So even if John McClane can escape an entire building full of criminals with nothing but a pistol taped to his back, he cannot escape SBMM. I don't think anyone's safe from that. All right, let's see if our... Oh, okay, our jesters are here. Let's see what they are. So let's listen to this. Stop shooting me. Oh, I'm sorry. That was this. No, thank you. It says, no, thank you. Nothing for good job. Hey, hey, he does have a line for thanks. Hi. And he has a hi. Wow. That's my third time getting stuck. How did I survive that? What? No way. No, the artillery hit me right on the head. This mode is just chaos, especially on Nuketown. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. First double kill in like an hour. This is ridiculous. The amount of explosions going on. There's constant score streaks coming in. The hard point changing super fast. Like, if, if you like crazy, intense, just straight up insane game modes and gameplay, this is the mode for you. Because there is no stopping in this. It is just constant war. 
I'm sure this gets you a lot of XP too. So if you want to pop a double weapon XP, just a, or a double XP, being on the hard point gives you points. Getting kills gets you points. Being cranked gets you points. All of that. Farm XP from this mode. 44 and 45. You gotta believe me, there's nothing I could do. You gotta believe me, there's nothing I could do about that. He even said it himself. But anyways, my overall opinion on this bundle is honestly pretty good. The, the weapon choices are good. Very nice. They could have been... I think the cosmetics could be better, but they, they match the character well. The voice lines sound weird. I know they're pulled right from the movie, but it doesn't fit into the game of COD. That's probably just a personal gripe from me, but I think the assassination really makes this bundle. It, it, it's just so cool. But anyways, if you guys like this kind of video, I might do some more in the future. So if you like this and you want to see more, leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Later.